logarithmic equations. You will find this on page 203 in the number via ordinary level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Logarithmic equations. In this section we will now take a look at solving logarithmic equations or equations with logarithms in them. All solutions of logarithmic equations must be checked because negative numbers do not have logarithms. The solutions might not be valid in the original equation. Very important. You have to check the answers. So it's actually the reverse of what we did in a previous video. So a property for solving logarithmic equations is if I have one term equals one term and there's a log word and there's a log, I can take the logs away and just equate this to m will then be equal to m. Okay, but let's start. If there's a single log term and it's equal to a constant, so there's just standing a constant, just a number, then I can follow, can you remember, I can go from log to index notation. So remember, there's a 10 if there's nothing, so I write the 10 and I just basically swap that two sides. And then I will get this, and then I will just simplify, divide 3, d 3, and that will be my final answer. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number A. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. So let's just start. So it's going to be log 8x equals 2. So the base will be 10. So this will be 10, no, from log form to index. So I will swap this side. So 2 equals 8x. And then it's 100 equals 8x. I divide 8, I divide 8. So therefore, the value of x will be 12.5. And if you substitute 12, it will be working out, giving you a positive there. Okay, let's move on. If there is more than one log term and a constant, so still a constant, but there's more than these two terms. So you must first use the laws and make it one term. Now, how do you make it one term? If it is a positive, then you just write one log word and you multiply. Okay. Now, again, go from log form to exponent form. So it's 10 to the power 1 equals this. Then I multiply, I take over, I factorize, it's a trinomial, group B. I factorize, and then I get x is 5 and x is negative 2. But I must test it now. 5 will be all right, but negative 2, uh -uh, it will give you a negative result there. So this is not the solution. The only solution is x is 5. Again, stop the video and do for me just number A. I, th I think in this case I'm going to show it to you because in the next, do number B. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. So this will be log x plus 4 minus log x is equal to 2. Okay, so first let's just make, make it, okay, now to avoid, oh, I see in this case. Okay, I'm still going to, I'm going to leave the fractions here. In the next one I will avoid that, but um, because otherwise I have to follow another method. So to, so I'm just going to say logs, log, so it's x plus 4 over x is equal to Two. Now remember the base is 10, so if I go to 10, swap this two side to the power 2 equals x, Let's just get that x correct, x plus 4 over x. So 100 equals x plus 4 over x. Put it over 1. So 100x equals x plus 4. So it's 100x minus x, which will be equal to 4. Okay, let's just check. I just want to check something quickly. So then this will be 99x 
equals 4. I divide 99 and I divide 99. So therefore, x will be 4 over 99. And that's my final. And again, if you substitute, that will be all right because it's positive. Okay, let's move on. I want to show you in this case, uh, so if there's more than one log term and more, so on both sides there's log, so there's not a constant. But if there's on both sides, you can avoid this division by taking this term over, okay, because then it's a positive. Then I can follow the multiplication there, the law, and then this, and now as soon as I have one log, one log, I can take it actually out and just equate this too. So x plus 3 equals 3x. Three then I solve it and I get 1.5. And if I substitute, that will be all in order. Again, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number A. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, now before you start, before you start, I think I'm going to let you do number C. I want you to use this, this for me. You can still do A. The answer is at the back of the book. Okay. Um, I can maybe just give you, for those of you that did A, if you don't have the textbook. So if you did number A, the answer will be one and a quarter. Okay. But I'm going to do C. So this will be log x minus 2 minus log 2x minus 3 equals log 2. Okay, now I'm going to take this over. So it's going to be log x minus 2 is equal to log 2 plus log 2x minus 3. Okay, so that's going to give me log x minus 2 equals log 2, 2x minus 3. Okay, and now I say x minus 2 equals 2, 2x minus 3. So x, oh, let's just get that correct, x minus 2 equals 4x minus 6. So um, I can take it any side. So x minus 4x equals negative 6 plus 2. So negative 3x equals negative 4. Okay. Let's just see, that was number 33. I just want to check number C. So that is going to divide negative 3, negative 3. The value of x is, is 4 over 3 or 1 and a third. Okay. Uh, so... So if I look at this and I put it in here and I say 1 over 3 minus 2 and I do it here, I say, oh, it's not working. Because look here, if I say 1 and a third minus 2, it's minus 2 thirds, I get a negative. So I'm going to say, therefore, this equation has no solution. Very important. That's the answer. But if you substitute it, you will get a negative value there. So the, the equation has no solution. Let's look at the last example here. And I want to also put something in here. I'll show you now. So solve, again, I do exactly the same. But in this case, that two must first jump up, the power law. And then I do exactly, I multiply, I take the logs away, I simplify. But look here, if you say one and a fifth, minus 3, you will get a negative solution there. So this is very important that I add that. I left it out there. This equation has no solution. In the reprint of the book, I will put this. So it's having no solution because it's giving you a negative. Okay, the final answer, the one I want you to do, I just want you to do number A. Again, you can continue the video. Stop it first. First try it on your own. And then continue the video as soon as you are finished and to see if you are correct. 
Okay, and if I do number A, uh, it's going to be log x plus 7 equals 2 log x plus 1. So it's going to be log x plus 7 equals log x plus 1 square. So that's going to be x plus 7 equals, because it's one word, one, one, one term, one term, log, log, I can take it away and just say x plus 1 squared. Oh, just please remember, this is long. Don't say x squared plus 1. It's the long method. I either write it out. I like to do the short one because then I know. So it's if it's two terms, so it's x squared plus, let me just keep that, x squared plus, that's 2x plus 1. So it's x squared plus 2x plus 1. You can do it also with long multiply. And then I take everything to one side. So it's x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus x minus 1. And that's going to give me x squared plus x. That will be that. Okay? And if I simplify that, I can take it out I just want to see quickly if, if I made a mistake or not. Um, it, it, X plus 7. Oh, there's a mistake. It's almost like I got the feeling there was something wrong. Okay, because then it's going to be minus 7, and that is going to be uh, 2x, so it's x, and it's minus 6. Am I correct? Yes, that's a trinomial. It's in group B, so in group B, I'm just going to say 3 and 2, 1 and 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. The biggest overcross gets positive, negative, x, x. So, x plus 3, x minus 2. So, if I say x plus 3 equals 0 or x minus 2 equals 0, so x is equal to negative 3 or x is equal to 2. But now I'm going to, if it's negative 3, uh, no. You see, if it's, if it's going to be, so x might, it's not going to work out. But if it, x is 2, okay, let's just see, 2, 2, yes, it's gone. So therefore, uh, x equals 2 is the only solution. Okay, and that's the final.